Can you, you rev it up again, please? So we've just got our 300 series here. We've just developed the exhaust system on it. It's been up and down from the air. We've got it all jigged up. We've got a couple of different combinations for you. What I'm gonna do is get Chriso to give us a rev right now. Now this is a DPM. Hang on a sec. Do it again. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's so that's straight out of the back of the factory DPF with no exhaust system on it. And factory injector rattle as well. What do you reckon? We'll have something out soon. So really exciting. Uh, Grayson's just come and grabbed me and he said, oh, you've got to come out and have a look at it. He's just jigged up and, and finished the three and a half inch stainless steel DPF back exhaust for our 300 series Land Cruiser. So I'm going to pop up some, some shots of it back to back. It's all TIG welded. Um, in stainless steel, made here obviously, which is an Australian made product with all um, correct mounting brackets and, and positions and things like that. So, so have a look and I'll, um, yeah, we'll go have a look at it. Be good. I can even push you on the scooter. You could push me on the scooter. I reckon we need to lay this one out next to the factory exhaust so we can see the difference underneath. Maybe here for a clean shot and then we put it under the car. So we're finally here. We have the DPF back exhaust system fitted on the 300 series. Gotta go out, do a road test on it. Uh, try and get different, uh, I guess, distances away from the exhaust system. What it sounds like in the cab, what it sounds like at the back of the car, what it sounds like at the front of the car. Try to give you a good feel for it. So this is the DPF back stainless steel exhaust system built here at Dynamotive. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna start up the the car so we can hear the three and a half inch dpf back exhaust from inside the car we'll just rev it we'll be able to have a listen to it see what the cabin noise is so here we go sounds like a turbo diesel starting all right turn the radio off and let's give it a bit of a rev Stick with that injector rattle. Give you a bit of an idea of what it sounds like on the inside of the car. It sounds stock. Maybe slightly louder than stock, but you really can't tell there's an aftermarket exhaust on there. How did you go about doing this? Yeah, well, from start to finish. From car in, we pulled the old exhaust off and we pulled the old springs out, which yep. allowed the car to be at full droop as to when you're going over rocks and whatnot, that the exhaust isn't going to fail expansion things. So we had so, to... Yeah, yeah. We pulled yeah. the springs out. Springs out. Yep. Exhaust down, so we got ample clearance up there. Yep. Then we quite simply started at the front. We yep. got a, a laser cut flange custom made that's bolted straight up to the factory Toyota dot system. We made the front part without a flex first, which kept our rear nice and square so it doesn't hit anything. And then we added in our flex, checked it again that it didn't swing or sway or hit anything, and then jigged it up and arrived at the product we can sell to you. Awesome. So he has been working tirelessly on this uh, exhaust system since it landed. So he's been working on this non-stop. I know next thing is going to be a turbo back exhaust system as well. It's exactly the sort of sound. So. <laughs> It's, uh, it's going to be pretty good, so yeah, check in, I'll keep you updated, I'll, I'll show you more of Grayson at the back welding and the craft that he's really, really talented at as well. So keep an eye out and uh, yeah, we'll catch up soon.
welcome to video three. Uh, if you've seen my first pre-delivery video, yeah, thank you, thanks for the feedback. If you've seen my second video, which was first road test, completely stock, thank you very much. What I wanted to do with this video uh, on the 300 series was show off our exhaust system. Because as soon as we got this car in, we um, basically set it up straight away <clears throat> on the hoist, moved the factory system, and um, got it jigged up to get our stainless steel three and a half inch exhaust system built. And let's give it a bit of a rev. I still got that injector rattle. So yeah, I mean, that's what the exhaust sounds like from in the car. Like realistically, it's really quite soundproof and you can't tell the difference. Like to be honest, and that's what I said I'd do from the start is be honest with you. You genuinely cannot tell the difference from the inside of the car with this exhaust system fitted to it. Um, I can't tell the difference at all. It just sounds like a turbo diesel. In fact, there's more injector rattle noise than there is exhaust noise. Um, aside from that, there's not too much of a difference. What I'm gonna do is get someone else out in the driver's seat, I'll go to the back of the car, we'll rev it up, and we'll have a listen, see what it sounds like. So I got Chris out here. <clears throat> He's gonna be giving it a rev up for me. Go to the back of the car. Serious injector rattle right there. <laughs> the, the injectors are no the injectors are noisier than the exhaust. So Chris is out here. He's going to rev it up for me. I'm going to go to the back of the car. We'll have a listen to it. See if it's any louder at the back. Yep. So there you have it. So that's a three and a half inch stain. So there you have it. That's a three and a half inch stainless steel ZPF back exhaust built at Dynamotive, tested on the dyno. I'll be doing another video with the results before, after, what the improvements were as well. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll have everything available soon. Remember, like, comment, stare. Like, comment, share. Smash the like button. So there you have it. Obviously that's at static, that's not doing any drive-bys or anything like that. Gives you a bit of an idea about the exhaust system. We're gonna have it online um, and for sale. Very, very. Another thing about this interior that I didn't notice when I first had a look, this cup holder here. So driver side cup holder, remove that. It's like a little secret hidey hole. Obviously it's to put bigger cups in, but you can definitely stash a lot of coinage in there. Well done, Toyota. Hey man! Oh, there you go. <laughs> How are we? <laughs> We're just getting the what are they? The hero shots. The hero shots for this one, yeah. Oh, so it's gonna be good. This is our final bits for this story for the season. Oh, it's gonna be good. And you know what we're doing with this one and the Y62, as Rob told you yet? Yeah? I've not been told yet. Oh, this is gonna be pretty special. Keep an eye out. Can you just go out the back and just film from the left-hand side, looking across so you can see the muffler and everything, and just kind of work. Uh, how do I film?